have recently been given a set of arrows, a dozen of these strange things with very strange fletchings on them. Sort of Chinese Manchu sort of style, but with a modern index knock. Um, they're made out of some kind of wood. I don't know what the wood is. Quite stiff. No smell to it. Um, but yeah, I was given a dozen. Um, when I've weighed them and spined them, they're all over the place. Um, but I managed to sort of sort them into sets of three that are fairly close. Um, so what I'm going to do now, because like, they had these weird points on them. Um, put one now in a minute, I don't know what kind of point. There it is. What's that? I don't know whether you can see they've got these really weird 3D style point on them. They're a parallel fit as well as I can tell. Um, they're actually punched on, so you can't unscrew them. They're not glue, they're just punched and pinned. Um, but they're very strange. Very, I don't know they're sort of like a reminiscent of a 3D field point, but not. Anyway, so I'll, I've chopped them off and we're going to put some new points on them. Um, and the points I'm going to put on these ones are what's called uh, a mod bonder. It's the, <laughs> the sort of trade type name. And basically, and, um, yeah, there they are. They're a sort of shaped bullet point. A bit so it's sort of like a modern bodkin type point. Um, these are 11 30 second shafts, but the points are actually nine, uh, five sixteenths. But I think they actually look quite neat. So we'll put them on there and see how we go and then we'll try them out. Um, so I'm just going to glue them on and then we shall try them. We'll try doing a little bit of shooting. See whether the group were very well, how the group, that sort of thing. And see whether we can get a decent set out of them. It might be different for different ways, I don't know. We'll have to try. Anyway, so, see you in a minute. Right guys. Oh. So we've just had a look at those arrows I've got given. So I thought we'd do a little bit of shooting with them and see what we think. Um, I'm using the Scythian bow, which I've been using for a couple of days, and I really like this thing. Um, but I really must rethink this whole shooting with the camera position over the target like that, because I'm getting nearer and nearer to shooting the bloody thing. Right. I think it's only a matter of time. Right, let's have a look. Well, they come off the bow quite well. Um, the knocks are a little bit tight for this string, but that's not the knocks fault, the strings fault or the knocks fault. That's just one of those things, just a case of adjusting them up at some point. Um, but, nope, that's not on. They feel a little bit funny to get onto the string actually, even though they've got indexed knocks. There's something a bit odd about them, if I'm honest. And they just feel a little bit sort of odd. Um, but like I said, they come off the board cleanly enough. They seem to fly quite well. Um, I have done a little bit of shooting outdoors with them. Um, but this whole thing about having 
a mixture of left and right wing fletchings is a bit odd. Uh, can't understand why any arrow maker would do that unless they were just throwing them together out of odds and sods they had lying around just for the hell of it. Which I wouldn't be surprised at. I mean, I've since asked where they came from, and the consensus seems to be that they were a gift that were bought cheap off Amazon. Um, right, so we're going to try some try some of my own arrows in comp as a as a comparison. We'll leave those ones in the target, and we'll see what these ones are like again. Using the Scythian bow, I do like the Scythian bow. That's in amongst them. These do seem to, I mean these are my own, but they seem to leave the bow a lot better than those others. I mean the other ones are 11 30 seconds shafts. So they're going to be a little bit heavier and quite possibly a lot heavier spined. Most of them seem to do the job as required, up to now anyway. But that's the whole point of this. See, this is a useful exercise to run through. If you've got a load of arrows lying around, or you get given a set of arrows that you don't know what they are, that's in amongst them, you can always just shoot them at various ranges with various bows and keep a track of what each of the arrows do and you may be able to put together a matched set it's in amongst them as well out of an odd set anyway so let's have a look at these see what we've got Whoa. Thanks for coming in. So I've sped this footage up a little bit, otherwise we'll be here all day. Um, now these arrows guys are terrible. It, no matter how hard I tried, and believe me, I had a good go. I must have fired about 10 sets. No matter how hard I tried, I could not get them to group any tighter than 6 to 8 inches. It, it, they just wouldn't. Um, I mean, if you watch the video, you can see how tight the groups are. Um, and the, the weird thing as well is to start off with, considering they're actually quite heavy, they shot a lot higher than I expected them to. I mean, obviously, once I got used to the height they shot, 
I was able to compensate and bring them down. But I was surprised at how high these were actually going up on the target. It's funny, the only other set of arrows, wooden arrows, that is, that I've had off Amazon were possibly as bad as these, if not worse. Um, it's, it's funny, um, I used them and I, I shot a personal best of 59 out of 60 for a single end with them. Um, but for some reason, the coach wouldn't let me register the score. He said it was unfair to allow a score that was shot over three targets. <laughs> That's how bad they were. They were shooting four or five foot to the left and to the right of the target I was shooting on. And they were in the gold, just not on my target. Um, anyway, so these arrows, um, I don't know, they're just horrible. They really are. And I don't know why anybody would even bother making them. Um, so these will be getting relegated to the practice disposable pile. Um, they'll be used, but they're just there to practice form, not expecting any accuracy at all, out of them at all. Or maybe if I need some fire arrows for a demonstration or something at some point, these might come in handy. Yeah, well, never mind. The only other thing I can think of is wondering if it might be worth stripping the fletchings off and seeing if we can improve them with some consistent fletchings, get rid of these horrible mixed bag of yuckness. Well, we, we'll, we shall see. Right guys, right, so we've been shooting these <laughs> strange little arrows that I was given. I've tried them with two different types and two different weights of head. Um, now the ones with the heavier 3D style points on them seem to fly a little bit better, but not much. They're all over the place. Um, the tightest group I could get, even at the ship, relatively short range was about 12 inches um, in around 5 metres is like 12 inch group of 5 metres is absolutely no good whatsoever uh, and in the video I mentioned that the knock seemed to be the knock seemed to be a little bit funny that's because they're loose this one actually came off while I was shooting and they just appear to be stuck on with what feels like a silicon glue, the sort of thing that crafters would make for making 3D car use for the, making 3D cars, which is absolutely no good for putting a knock on. Um, anyway, that's so the ones with the, the heavier points seem to fly a little bit better, but not much to be honest. Um, the 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 type the maybe two or three inches and maybe grouping it to ten inches instead of twelve. So the shafts themselves seem to be quite uniform, other than the fact that the spine weights are obviously all over the place. But I think the biggest problem is these fletchings. Uh, I mean, we've got left and right wing feathers on this one, the three. It's the same. Um, we've got left and right wing feathers on. And then we've got a left wing, got two left wings and a right wing. That's crosses. And again, two left wings and a right wing. And there's a right wing, and a left wing, and a right wing. So two right wings and a left wing. And short of taking the feathers up and mixing them around, that's just crazy. There are left wings. So I've got one that's all right wing, one that's all left wing, one that's two left and one right, and one that's two right and one left. Um, again, two right and one left. They're just, they're just all over the place. Um, but, they'll do for emergencies, they'll do for messing about in, in experiments, because um, there's a couple of experiments I wouldn't mind trying, like shooting through ceramic plates and things like that. And these might be close range, they might be okay for that. Because I'm not bothered about them getting damaged. 
not bothered about them breaking. Um, but anyway, so I've put a few videos together showing you shouldn't be shooting and things like that. Hope you find it interesting. Um, stay safe, keep swinging the sticks, and if you see anything like this on Amazon, don't buy them. Uh, I mean, this.